Technical knock. Hey guys, welcome back to our new session. <laughs> <laughs> Unjammed your microphone. No. <laughs> uh, okay. So when we last left off, so I jumped, jumped into the Titan, Project Eden. See, the Chaos Legions did. They put subwoofers in a stereo system in their Titan so they can roll around and boom out dubstep and foul prayers. It says that in the book. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay. And the elevator. It doesn't thing. say dubstep, it says invocations, but it's the same thing. <laughs> Scrap code. And fucking pervert and mutate machine spirit. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny though. Speakers on a tight. Boom, boom, boom. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. So, the last thing you guys did was, uh, you're allowing the elevator to descend, right? Because you three were gonna go up above. Try to do something or meet with the Inquisitor. Yeah, I mean, uh, we still think Sara's pretty much dinking around in the Titan, for all I know. So. Right. Okay. Um. So some time passes, and the elevator. Uh, s you know, starts to descend even more until you can kind of see over the ledge, and you can see people on the elevator. So I'll go ahead and slap some down some tokens for you. Tokey toke. Okay, so here we have Mr. Inquisitor. He's hanging out back there. And he's also accompanied by some stormtroopers. That's Eisenhorn. <laughs> That's not Harkin. He's an imposter. <laughs> I know. There's, believe it or not, there's actually not that many pictures of Inquisitors online. Yeah, and like most other Inquisitor pictures, like in like the Dark Heresy and like Rogue Trader books, look like shit. <laughs> actually, I can. They're all like one. in the 1800 or 1500. They're fucking flintlock pistols. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, <laughs> what the fuck? They carry like seven of them and throwing. Them. It's so dumb. Oh, that's like an old school witch hunter. <laughs> yeah. He is Ordo Hereticus. There you go, he is a witch hunter. What he's doing here. Hmm. I'll never know. Okay. Alright, so, uh, the elevator fully descends, and there's four stormtroopers pointing plasma weapons in your guys' direction with red dot sights kind of looking at you guys. And, yeah, he kind of looks around for a little bit, and he's like, lower your weapons, men. He's like, then he looks over to you guys and says, I see that we have finally met up. My chase is coming to an end. What are you chasing, Inquisitor? I got a faint, I picked up a faint trace of uh, chaos in the subsector. Decided to come and investigate it. Perhaps you guys have come across this occurrence? Faint trace of chaos? He nods. Well, yes, there was a cultist that we dispatched of earlier. Is that all? Just a cultist, huh? I turn to Marcus. Can you elaborate, yeah. Marcus? Yes, Inquisitor. We have dealt with the heretic already, and We, he was working on a project that we have already taken care of as well. We have accomplished what we have came here to do and now wish to help with the Tau and Tyranid forces. Sorry. I see. Um, hmm. So then, uh, you said you have dealt with him, and what, by what means do you what mean you have dealt with him? Surely he does not just simply lie dead on the floor. He has been disposed of. He has been dispatched. With what method? 
He looks at you with an uneasy look on his face. With the method of my team's bolters, Inquisitor, we have taken care of him. I back up Marcus by uh, ejecting a single bolt shell out of my bolter <laughs> and catching it. Hmm. Well then, uh, fancy moves you have there, but um, I, I uh, request the cultist's body from you so that I may burn him to ash so that he does not arise again. Surely this is something you can do. We have already determined that we would take care of the body, Inquisitor. Are you, okay, so what kind of check are you using against him? I guess that's a charm. Um, that's like negotiating. Yeah, charm. Yeah. Make your charm. I will try to assist. Well, wait, actually, I don't think I even have charm. You can't assist it unless it's like a train skill, right? Uh, I think charm is I basic. Think. Or not basic. I think charm is... Uh, I, don't, I think Charm's untrained, so you can do a half. Charm is basic, Charm is and I have yeah. Charm okay. in train. Trained. So, do I get any pluses or minuses for it being trained? What happens with that? What do you, What is it? Train 10? Train 20? Um, it's basic, trained, then plus 10%, then plus 20%. I have it in trained, because I upgraded no. it. That just means you don't cut your thingy in half. Yeah, I won't assist then. Yeah. <laughs> you you could try and then like, you know, if you you know, if you fail really bad, like with degrees of success, then there'll be problems. But if you just kinda like fail with one or zero, then nothing will really happen. If you pass then you'll get like plus ten. I'm good. Okay. Uh I failed by one degree of success. One degree of failure, I guess. Okay. This is, uh... Failure by success. He says, uh, alright. Um, well, I'd still like to make sure that this body is, uh, properly burned. It goes through all the rituals of being purged like any chaos filth should. Hand it over to me. Um, I... I can't, uh, I will try to intimidate him. I'll say... <laughs> Dude, him out. So, we are we are Death Watch members. We have dealt with him. Do you question us? I don't think... Do you think we are not capable of just disposing of one heretic? Roll. Damn. No. This is, uh... Fair. With no degrees, like this thing. I question you? It sounds like you're questioning me. Let's not forget that you're from Ordo Xenos. Now hand over the body. As I have said, Inquisitor, and I stand by it, we shall be the ones to take care of the body. I have done this in my past. I would like to do the honors. I take care of the bodies of my own enemies that I have killed. What are you doing, Castles? I'm basically kind of sending him the situation. Raven, this is Castles. We are encountering um, Inquisitor Harkin. He's requesting the body. Any assistance or advice? Path of procedure? Cultist's body is not much of our concern. It's not our mission objectives. I have no quarrels in handing it over to him. I'll share this data with uh, Marcus. I'll open up the line with him so he receives the box. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not primary or secondary objective to retrieve the body. We're not... You know, we're, we're Ordo Xenos. It's not alien. Makes good. But watch, Captain. Makes good sense the, to hand it over. 
Make sure that it's properly but watch charged. Captain, we... I agree, Watch Captain, and I wish we, me and my kill team, wished to be the ones to do it since we were the ones who dispatched him. He also uh, may know more about this Titan that we have discovered and its secrets. Uh, roll charm. Nope. I don't have I don't have much advice for you, Marcus, in this situation. This is something that you're gonna have to handle with, by yourself with your team. Very well watch, Captain. Thank you. You guys need more fellowship. More fellowship of the ring. <laughs> I will not have to ask you again, Space Marines. Hand over the body. As I have just stated, or show me I the body. take care of my own dead. <sighs> he sighs at you. Well, if we must really do this the hard way, then. Stormtroopers raise their guns. Point at you guys. Roll Nish. Oh snap. Inquisitor, I fear it is unacceptable for you to do this. I do not wish to see you die this day. And I'm rolling fear or intimidate. I don't know if he's scared of you. You guys rolled intimidate and have failed really bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'll just add that on top to on top of how bad it was. So you tried to intimidate again? Marcus, you try to intimidate again. What exactly are you telling him? You gotta role play it out, even though you failed. I need to know what you say to him. It's not like I make intimidation roll and then roll and then I don't hear anything from you. I, I um, I do not wish to see you die this day, Inquisitor. Please, oh. you and your men. I wish, uh, I wish for them to lower their weapons. I, we do not need more bloodshed when more bloodshed will be coming soon against the Tau and the Tyranids. We must work together. I only ask that we keep the body. If that is if that is too much of if I'm asking of too much, then you do not deserve the respect of being an inquisitor. May I make a suggestion, Marcus? Before you respond, Inquisitor, with a solution that I think you would not want to respond with if I'm not being too presumptuous what do you propose tech marine Marcus may I as you wish Cassilis what do you need the body for absolutely he is a fellow space marine even though he is corrupt and there are things that we wish to accomplish with his body that could grant us information Jeep, what do you seek? Absolutely nothing, just to make sure that the corruption doesn't spread. Cremation, most likely. Marcus, is there any way we could accommodate the Inquisitor? Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, very well. Give me one moment to talk to to speak with my team about this. Marcus, how about we give him the uh, body after we done interrogating him after the mission? Maybe he 
Agrees to that. He could help us in the questioning. His ability has gotten him to where he is an Inquisitor. This is true, brothers. The problem with this is that our fourth member, Dominic, is not here to give his own opinion, and I fear that not only I, but he more than I, wishes to keep the body for his own personal reasons. I personally think it would be best if Dominic evaluated the Inquisitor himself, since he is a fellow witch. Very well. Uh, I try to vox over to Dominic. Brother Dominic, respond. Oh, uh, can I hear him, Hosen? Um. Yeah, I'll say you can respond. You gotta do like a really heavy. I've been just fucked up RP voice though. I'm mortally wounded, or like I've gone through a strenuous You're situation. You're exhausted. <sighs> this is Dominic. What do you need, Marcus? Brother Dominic, are you alright? What has happened? I am doing better. It's the Titan. It, uh is functional but it uh it's the best I can say is melded with me it has been taxing there is some good news brother Dominic I have a request what is your opinion and what do you wish to do with the body the inquisitor is asking for the body so that he may burn it and we have tried our best to keep the body for ourselves, and yet he keeps pushing the subject. Um, uh, Cassilis, is there a way f for me to... Can I talk to the Inquisitor? Or can I talk... Or do I... I will broadcast you and patch you through to us. Please. <clears throat> yeah, Cassilis, please broadcast me. To the Inquisitor. Acknowledged. You are now active. Inquisitor Harkin, this is Dark Angel Dominic Sorrow. The man you seek is one of great importance to my chapter. Oh? How so, Mr. Sorrow? Lord Sorrow? If I may, is there a private channel in which I can contact you with to give you the information about this? Certainly. You realize to you to his, his microbead uh, channel frequency. Brothers, forgive me, but this is a secret you may not know of as of yet. They don't make communication with him up in communication with Harkin. Mm -hmm. I read you loud and clear. The man, the man you seek. Well, do you know of the dark? Do you know of the fallen Inquisitor Harkin? Mm. Fucking no. I've heard of that name before, but I don't know what it means. Perhaps you can enlighten what, me. What you are about to hear is only because... Is only because the need to keep my brothers alive outweighs my need to keep this a secret for the moment. But the Fallen themselves are zealously hunted by my chapter because they are ex-members of our chapter. Once he is taken back to a Dark Angel Sanctuary, he will be tortured, and then all of the correct rites and rituals will be taking place to dispose of his body. Because while he may be tortured, he still will die. 
Make a uh, make a charm plus thirty. Fail. Fate point. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> can I burn another one? <laughs> you don't burn them. You just spend them, and yeah, you can use as many as you want on shit. Okay. Can <laughs> use my last one? There's that burn. This is impossible. Oh my god! This inquisitor does not want to be convinced. <laughs> Your story breaks my heart, sorrow. And he cuts off his communication with you. God damn! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen so much. <laughs> wow! I knew it. Don't can't even burn my last one. That sucks. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna stand nervously at alert, because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There you go. Um, well, he po guns point at you once more, castles Marcus and Shadows, and he says, I'll ask one more time. Hand over the body. Or step aside and allow me to proceed down the hall. I Marcus, box. maybe we, maybe he'll be pacified if we show him the body, and we show him what we've done to pacify the Dark Angel, that his armor is ripped open, that his equipment is useless, and that we show we have nothing to hide, merely we just want to accomplish what we came to do. Very well, but I do agree That was private to you, by the way. Yeah, and I'm... Okay, and back to you. Very well. Very well, Brother Kassilisk. However, I do agree with Brother Dominic that he will not receive this body. That is of the utmost importance. Uh-oh. No, he's not, because he's in permanent... What? Permanent... I'll stay... I keep forgetting he's in stasis and I just knocked out. Never mind. Okay. So how you... What do you say, Marcus? Yeah, go for it, Marcus. We show... Show him the body. And this is a private box to Cassilis. We shall show him the body. However, he will not be taking it with him. It is of the utmost importance that we keep the body. I stand by you, squad leader. And Vox, a private Vox to Dominic. Brother Dominic, is the Titan armed? Just in case the Inquisitor relies heavily on his on his men and their weapons. Yeah, it is. Um, it is, Brother Marcus. But th the power of its weapons are staggering. I would hate to shoot them in such a tight area. I shall ultimately be the one to give the order whether or not you fire. Alternatively, it is up to you whether or not you wish for the Inquisitor to take the body or for us to keep it. <clears throat> As you wish. Very well, Inquisitor. We shall show you the body of the heretic. Lead the way. Castleus, if you would, open the blast doors. Acknowledged. I open up the doors for them. Oops. 
Please follow us, Inquisitor. The way. I'm gonna vanguard them. What's that mean? I'll just like be in the front, side by side with Diz. Stay in formation though. Oh. But we're on both sides, so we can easily flank them. <laughs> Shadress. Serpentine. Serpentine. <laughs> Maybe you should have warned him first. No, this will strike a little bit of the fear of the Emperor into him. I think it'll be good. Hosen, can I try to compel them to go to sleep? No. <laughs> you dominate Sleep. Dang. Is that door open? You I feel you sleepy next door. turn. Oh, I mean, I'm going to open it. Okay, so you open it? Yeah. Alright, so he sees the Titan. He's like, what the... What the fuck is that? Our primary objective, Inquisitor. <laughs> I can't contain my excitement. Sorry, Marco. That Inquisitor is a gift from the Emperor himself. Is it active? Dominic, for effect! Dominic, for effect! This is Eden, activating and ready to march. He's taken back by it. He's like, what? Uh, Inquisitor, you missed your quarry. It's over here. Oh, all it's like up on the rail. He has to walk around. Can't see it. Not like you, who could just teleport up there. <laughs> I teleport. <laughs> like, you walked you right see, past Inquisitor. it. Oh wait, no you didn't. You see, Inquisitor, this is the reason I did not want to start a confrontation with you. Or I had this waiting behind us. Why did you not tell me about this? This was better left unsaid. As you were, you were only looking for the body. He kind of looked at you in size. He's like, you think this is information that you, you think this is valid information that you t you would keep from a high official like myself? He shakes his head at you. I am sorry, Inquisitor. Oh, never. But if you had asked, if you had asked. If we required the use of a titan, I would have told you. He kind of like face palms. He's like, oh, really? I hope your team well, is not. Better. I hope you don't misinform your team as much as you misinform me. <laughs> Anyways, body. The body is over here, Inquisitor. Please follow me. Oh crap, how did I get over there? Hmm? Hmm. He teleported. Teleporting did. Alright, so he comes across the body that's, I guess, tied and gagged up. And he gets ready to pull out like a hand flamer. I'm sorry, Inquisitor, but I cannot let you destroy this body just yet. Have a soft spot for Chaos Marine? No, Inquisitor. It is the utmost importance that Brother Dominic and myself and my kill team are able to take this body with us so he may repent and join the Emperor. No, but seriously, can I point my turbo laser at him if he decides not to listen to him? Uh, yeah, probably. Good. You should take him so that he can join the Emperor? What the hell does that even mean? He fell from the Emperor's path a long time ago. It's best we purge the body so the corruption does not spread. What is your real concern, Inquisitor? How will it spread and to whom?
felt traces of psychic energy when I was going through this place. It's pinpointed to him. He's got some kind of powers. I'm sure of that. He wakes back up, start influencing people again. You've seen the warp ghosts oh, around here. Here we go. I can do this. Uh, uh, I guess I'll speak over the Titan. I don't know, I guess. Do it. I'm not going to yell into the mic, but I'm assuming it's really loud, so I'm not going to yell over the mic. Feedback's great. Inquisitor. Wait, does he... He, I guess he's psychic then, right? Can't roll a sign of science test? Yeah. At like a plus 800? <laughs> What's a pass? Anyways, even without the 800 added. He has, yeah, he's he's like Sirating 2. Sirating 1. Sirating 2. Not that. As you may have noticed, Inquisitor Harkin, this entire place is saturated with warp energy. The mere fact that everybody, the mere fact that anyone can see these warp ghosts shows, shows how weak reality holds, shows how weak the hold of reality has here. What you picked up is nothing more than the old, than warp resonance from a long forgotten chapter house. Um, I guess I have to roll some for that, so. Probably deceit. Do we have deceit? Yeah, I should. I'm a fucking dark angel. All I do is lie to people. You pick up deceit. All we have is intimidate trained. Everything else is basic. Roll deceit. Unless you like, you got training. Or intimidate him. Point guns at him. Just be like you're gonna blow him up or something. <laughs> intimidate plus fifty. I'm just telling him. <laughs> plus fifty. You're in a titan. Then I'll point my gun at him and reason with him. Point my gun. Like I'm just gonna stick my arm out there, which I guess I will. What is that thing doing? It's acquiring a lock, Inquisitor. That body stays with us. It's like, well, I can't reason with that. Come on, guys. We're not fighting this. Let's go. Wait, Inquisitor. Yes? We still wish to assist you in your endeavors here that are on the planet. Even though you are walking away from something that is obviously important and you will not tell us why it's particularly dangerous for this body or man to be here, we would still like to assist you. Your work is important. Go on. What kind of deal do you propose? Assume, I assume that your work here with the IG needs assistance, such as what Marcus brought up. Perhaps. Marcus is our leader and able to make decisions. I am merely just making an observation that we can assist you with these this weaponry, with perhaps even Eden if we can get it running and if it is deemed operational. It would be a huge benefit. Am I correct, Marcus? Yes, Cassius. Imagine, Inquisitor, the awe that you will see on the battlefield from this titan marching towards our foes, and together we shall crush them. Sounds like charity work for the Ordo Xenos. More like you yes, trying to get me who gets, with you. Who gets the credit for all this work, for stopping out the foes? Surely it would be you, in your organization. Scratches his beard. No one needs to know about Project Eden, and we would like to keep it a secret if possible. Very well. Meet me surface side, whenever you get this thing going. Just a little bit. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just want to cut him open, just, just a little. <laughs> it's only gonna hurt for a second. <laughs> All right. Anyways, he walks down the steps and proceeds out the room. 
unless anyone interrupts them because they want to be like a douche and stab him in the back of the head or something. But otherwise, he walks down the hallway and back to the elevator and takes it back. Everyone out. always hates like fucking social NPCs in every game. I fucking swear. <laughs> I know. So nobody knows what how to mean? socialize. Nobody knows how to intimidate. I swear to God. Yeah, apparently. I hate mine worked. Plus 50. It actually would have passed, period. I rolled a 25. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I overstepped my bounds, Marcus. I just saw a bad situation coming. Inquisitors are resourceful from everything that I learned. This is true, Cassilis. I'm glad you acted when you did. For, for some reason, I could not speak sense to him. Then again, with Brother Dominic's assistance and having a Titan at our side, that did not hurt either. <laughs> oh, oh God. God. Oh, shit. Alright, well, let's get this shit running. No pun intended. Brothers, what do you if... wish to do with this body? Can we teleport it? The... Not from in here. I think we have to be up on the surface. I think, well, well I think maybe... the, the big thing is that Saro has the teleportation beacon, doesn't he? Or did you guys take it? I don't remember. But he's in the psychic chamber, so it'd be kind of hard to get it from him. Yeah. I shall carry the body up with me while you guys, while you brothers operate the Titan. When we, when we reach the surface, Brother Dominic, I wish for you to teleport him to our ship. Diz, are you trying to talk yourself out of getting in and driving a Titan? That is so not Diz. He sounds like it, doesn't he? Just get the fucking Titan with the body. I should no, make you spontaneously like that, combust for that. It's just, I mean, I, I don't want, like, because he's, you know, chaos. He's evil, and I don't want the Titan to, like, recognize him as been, like, torturing the machine spirit for years and years and years, and then all of a sudden, the Titan fucking was over or something. No, so it's not going to matter. Well, I mean, you know, the body's insane. But the Titan, I mean, it's not going to... I don't think they have any systems to purge what's inside of them. Okay. Generally. They'd have, they might have, wow. like, hallway I'm turrets relieved. and stuff, because they, they need them to defend the crew. Titans sometimes get boarded. So they would have, like, basic turret systems monitoring hallways. Like, you know, real basic stuff. Do we have any rope? We can just tie him to the leg or something. <laughs> I don't know if anybody brought rope. We'll just leave him. We'll leave him in the doorway of the Titan. It'll be fine. Okay. All right. So you three uh, step onto the Titan and <clears throat> into a hallway. Yes. Leads to a few different rooms, maintenance rooms, piloting rooms, stuff like that. Psychic chamber, which is currently sealed. Through the window you see Welcome. Sorrow's space marine. You see Sorrow Dominic hooked up to a bunch of wires. That is impressive. Wow. I'll just be odd for a moment. This is inspiring. This machine shall lead us to victory over the Emperor's foes. Hear Eden's voice come over the the in the, all the audio systems inside the Titan. He says, "Welcome aboard, fellow Space Marines. Your piloting seats await." It's not very important, but Hosen said when I went in that it was really nice inside. Is it like a five-star hotel in this bad boy? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! It's never been operated before. Nobody's set it just struck me as odd when you said it, because it's like a war machine, but it's like, yeah, dude, we have like glass chandeliers and fine dining, <laughs> and a wait staff. Yeah, a waitress staff. 
serve all the best foods. I mean, he probably did. Polish your But it's like, armor. look at these seats, they're real velour. They're like drones inside, they give you massage, <laughs> serve you drinks. <laughs> You've got heated seats and cup holder. Massage my jean seed. Gross. Ah. <laughs> Next you're gonna be spilling your jean seed everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the apothecary is gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> All right, let's go before this gets more gay. <laughs> Onward. Okay. All right. Um, so you walk into the main uh, control room. Inside of it are three seats. Piloting seats, well, two seats actually, I guess. Be piloting seat and gunner seat. I get in the piloting seat. Okay. You sit down in the piloting seat, and a lot of tendrils and stuff come to interface with you, and they will in moments, I guess, be a traumatic experience as you merge with the with Project Eden. Need to make a willpower. They don't test. have to make a test against traumatic experiences, do they? Willpower test. Oh, can I reassure them? You can try. Some way to help boost whatever they're making. You can try. What kind of test is that? I don't know. Roll play it out. Reassurance. Uh, roll fellowship. Basic. So whatever your fellowship is, if you pass, plus 10 on their willpower test. If you fail badly, then maybe penalties. I'm using my possibility shield thing that to help boost it a bit because my fellowship sucks. Probably rolled 97. Problem. I rolled a 6! That's like 3 degrees of success. You rolled a d10. I did! Fuck! That's a 60. I still. No, re roll your d10. Failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's like five degrees of success or failure. Sorry. Five degrees. It is five degrees of failure. Fate point. No, I'm out of fate points. Oh, well, I have one, but I have to burn it because I only have the one left. Well, no, I have one left to use. I guess to just spend. So. I mean, it's not gonna be that bad, right? I mean, I don't think it's worth spending a fate point on. I don't have anything else to spend them on. It'll be a traumatic experience. Linking up with it. I don't know what the negatives are. Traumatic is not ever good. So I don't know if we're using the word what lightly. What did you have, Sara? Uh, my Psy range got increased and I can push powers constantly. You did D5 insanity points, didn't you? Is that what I took? Unless you passed your willpower. Did I ever roll that? I think you passed your willpower. Oh yeah, I did. Uh. If not, Castle's roll your D100. Negative 10 on your willpower. Do you get any bonus because I'm using your facing with There we go. Look at that. There's a 6, Hosen. There's yeah. 4 degrees of success. Okay, plus 20 on your willpower as you interface. As Castle reinsures you. Or, Sara reinsures you. You gotta roleplay it out, dude. Do it. Speak. Speak at thy words. Fine. Yeah. As you guys take your positions on the bridge of this particular titan, and the instruments begin to hook themselves up. Through your head that has now been connected to the titan, you hear the reassuring voice of Dominic. Brothers, do not be alarmed. It is painful for only a moment. But the titan itself has no wish to harm you. So bear with it and focus on my speaking until the what happens when the Borg do stuff to you assimilate you assimilate please wait while the assimilation process takes hold thank you and then in the background you hear like elevator mute <clears throat> I'm gonna I guess by that they're hooked up uh, it's like six like seconds worth of talk take the gunner seat uh, yeah. I Her hope I don't jam my willpower. Willpower test. 
Uh, same with you, Castle. This will power test. Plus 20 on it. If you fail, D5 insanity points as you interface with the machine. Fail. One insanity point. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> you all tore your right. I you got one. You can take the five. No. Oh, no. Otherwise, you can take the one. What about you, Diz? Did you hook up your shit already? There were only two seats. I wasn't able to sit down. There's more seats. There's yeah, just two yeah. seats in that particular area. You said there's more rooms, right? There's more rooms, but you run around and do maintenance in them and stuff like that. Never mind then. Good luck standing while we're moving around in a tight. There's a cogitator you can use to like operate, I guess, the monotask servitor skulls and stuff, or servitors around in it. So you could you could take like a regular seat. It's not a piloting seat. Take a seat with a no, commentator in front of it and run other systems. You know, run like the communications or whatnot, if you want to, or like run the aspect. I'm down with that. You can do that. Direct us to the no grade leader. This is the closest I've ever been to the Omnissiah. This shall be experienced. What about Archimedes? He needs a seat. Eden says. What this? I said, what about Archimedes? He needs a seat. <laughs> they put him at the front. Diz, everyone's waiting for you. Anyway. Let's go. Onward, my brothers. For the Emperor. All right, take the first. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to disconnect like all the uh, conduits and cables and shit that like run into like Eden. I'll probably rip Is there off. Just a manual Eden's release for that. They'll probably rip off if you just walk. No dangers from that. Mm. Come on, man! Don't bring it up. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just thinking because like it was hooked up to a bunch of shit, and so I was like, I don't want to like do any fucked up. Um, I, I'm gonna disconnect the cables then, if there's a manual release on our side. Yeah. So you release all the cables connected to Eden, because they fall to the ground. Bud. Let's take our first uh, fragile steps forward. Very carefully. Okay. Um, make a pilot something test, so roll agility. Alright. Oh, fuck. Fail. Fail. Okay, so you try to get, you try to get the Titan to move, but you're, you know, still don't quite understand it yet, and you can't quite get it to move. Eden comes over and he tries to assist you, says, try again, brother, this time with more feeling. Plus 20. That's a success. One degree. Okay. We all pass. So you, get, you start to get the hang of it, you start to put more of your character behind it. You're able to pilot it fairly normal for the most part. You won't be doing any crazy acrobatics with it if you have its basic controls down. Tactical, right, tactical movement speed out. for the Titan, I believe, is 16 meters. Let's see. It says cruising speed is 58 kilometers per hour and tactical speed is 16 meters. And you just move it if you want. So you go down the hallway and get to the elevator that's waiting to take you up. And I uh, remotely activate the elevator. Yep. Send a signal out and activate the elevator and it starts to ascend go up oops move you over after a few minutes of uh, uh, well I guess uh, you know some minutes pass or so and you go to the service in which you are back up in the uh, middle room of the chapter house uh, there's a lot of uh, 
people out on the room. There's a lot of well, there's Inquisitor Harkin, and he has like his few stormtroopers around him. There's a lot of IG around him as they kind of see you come up in this thing, and they're like awestruck and pointing at it and stuff. Harkin's like, I told you they found a Titan. I think the manly voice does and speak to him. Fear not, for the Emperor graces up with this graces us with this gift. We shall destroy the hated Xenos. Follow me to victory for the Emperor. Uh, bullshit. Plus, like, a hundred. They all cheer and rally behind <laughs> you. <sighs> Good. God bless the Emperor. Or whatever. Bless the Emperor God. God Emperor. Emperor Stay blesses years. himself. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so I guess you just smash the walls as you exit the building with it. Yes, um, sure. I mean, uh, well, Inquisitor Harkin has details about this. Oh, sorry. Inquisitor Harkin, we were waiting coordinates for a, a strike deployment by your command. Of course, I will send over the coordinates right away. Deta he sends over a bunch of uh, coordinates of, like, the uh, Tau base and stuff like that. This is where we believe their outpost is at. Marcus, coordinates received. Plotting a, a travel uh, path through terrain. Any additional supplementing orders? Keep an eye out for any Tau scouts, scout scouting parties. We do not want them to learn of what we have acquired just yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. While this is going on, can I give Shadros a tactical readout for his weapons and stuff? I'm sure he has it in front of him. Sure. Shadros, do you guys all have the Titan opened up in the rights of battle? Oh, uh, can so I what's do? the page we'll start again? 187. For me. Okay. Which time is that recording? 52 minutes. Hmm. Oh, okay. Found it. And this is the Warhound Titan Lupus Tempe Tempe Tempestus yes. that we're using? Yeah, integrity is uh, 100 on it, even though it says 90. Okay. Yep. Holy shit. The Turbo Laser Destructor has a uh, extreme range of 3,000 meters. Yeah. yeah. It's also got yeah. a penetration of twenty. Your aspects only go out to like a hundred though. Or no, it's like no, it's like a kilometer, so like a thousand meters, I mean. You can boost it. Then that so the aspects is like five kilometers? Tech use, I think. In addition they gain a plus twenty to all awareness tests and make awareness test ranges at ranges of up to five kilometers. If you boost it, right? Which is the tech use? No, it's just period. Oh, it's five kilometers. It's just an AS aspect to what. Mm -hmm. He also suffered no penalties for darkness, foul weather, or other effect. At the GM's discretion, the aspects may function farther than in certain cer in certain circumstances, such as targeting another Titan. <laughs> five kilometers. Hell yeah. You found out that we can just shoot him from where we're at. Then when we come out of here. How'd you know that I'm gonna be using a Tau Titan? <laughs> Cool. <clears throat> May I make a suggestion for counterintelligence, Marcus? Very well, Cassilis. Because of the Tau's enhanced targeting features and their ability to have anti-armor weaponry, 
I recommend that we use our Inferno Gun on the forest to create a forest raging fire. We will walk through that. It will obscure all Auspex attempts to target us, except through visual. So we'll have almost every element of surprise as far as radar is concerned. Or Auspex. Brilliant, I brilliant idea, Cassilis. Uh We shall carry that out. Okay, well, go on. I'm not the pilot of this thing. Okay, where's the Tau base and stuff? Can we have, like, an enhanced view? I'm going to do, like, an Auspex sweep as we walk out uh, for the five kilometers towards where we're supposed to be going. Below the chapter house, I kind of still have that map set up. I don't know if you want to shrink yourself down to one meter by one meter and slap your Titan on it. Drive around with it if you want. Bunch of forest in the way between the chapter house and the Tau base. A bunch of minor conflicts, of course. Do, 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 do. Thanks, sir. Yep. Ah, your titan just shrunk. It's so small now. Look at you, tiny titan. What are you doing? What are you doing with that little titan? Where are you going with that little titan? Guess we've come out somewhere over here. Harkin, what are you doing being bigger than a titan? That represents Harkin's forces as he follows behind, as you take point. It's going to be like impossible for them to keep up. Are they in vehicles? Uh, they have a they have a chimera he's rolling around with, a few of them. I, probably okay. like three to hold all of his forces. That's good. I'll say, because we can fucking haul ass in the Titan. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and we don't take any terrain penalty. <laughs> like, oh, there's just tree in your way. I'll burn it down. Oh, there's a lot of them you can't get through. Fuck, we can't even use this. You thing. know, it's, it's a good forces. thing we're not space war. Shit face driving a Titan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be re you'd be spending your requisition on a bunch of booze. Or booze guns. Like, you shoot booze at, through your gun. Like, booze super, super soakers. That's what the flamer is, just ignited vodka. <laughs> <laughs> or grog, whatever they drink. Diz, direct us. We need leadership. As you can see, we're falling towards chaos already. With power overwhelming. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, as... Forward. Uh, forward. forward? Okay. Uh, as we go forward, uh, we'll be deploying, I guess, various bursts from the uh, Inferno gun in order to hide uh, our heat signatures and everything else. Okay. All right. Uh, so you start making your way through the forest. Uh, move up. I'd say, eh. Yeah, about, yeah. Ugh. Hard falling behind you. And, uh, Do you want to make these 10 kilometer groups or like 100 kilometer groups? Each one It's like 100 kilometers. Or 50. You mean each square on this overboard? I think it's like a, it's like a few. Yeah, I don't, it, each square is probably about five kilometers. Individual zones, I guess, that you'd be able to, you know, aspect. Five range. kilometers. Okay. A million. Yeah, kilometers. sorry, I said 100 kilometers. I meant yeah, I meant a thousand. I meant like a uh, one, like just a hundred meters for each square. I do that all the time. I don't mean to. I'll say each each square you're in is basically your auspex range. So. Damn. Yeah, it's a long yeah. way. Kind of. Yeah, it's it is. Sorta. It's like, so... It'd be like a good 50 kilometers out. From... Okay. Uh, so you start burning the forest away as you march through it in your titan with Harkin's forces behind you. Um, I'm gonna do uh, radar sweeps uh, with the aspects yep. as we uh, move to. Yep, so you move up a little bit more. And um, make a uh, make a aspects scan check. Oh my gosh. Um, 16 plus 20. 
Okay. Mm. Yeah. Let me find this real quick. Sorry, I had the fucking the names slipping my fire warrior. No. Oh. The Lancer. No. Okay. Um, in the sky, your scanner picks up um, a Tau Orca dropship. Seems to be scouting the area. How far away is it? It's about four kilometers out. Looks something like that. And it's approaching your position. We're flying towards you. Brothers, incoming Orca dropship, four kilometers away. We need firing solution for three, uh, three kilometer away fire with using turbo laser destructor option. Shadris, do you copy? Copy that. No! <laughs> okay. Um, so the Orca job shit comes within firing range. And you try to fire at it, I guess, and miss terribly as the laser goes by. Because <laughs> 90 is pretty bad. Um, so... Good thing it's reliable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you fire at it, uh, and it quickly doubles back and flies out of your range and off and away. No chance to fire at it again? It's unless you can fire more than three kilometers. He's no. fucking hauling ass traveling yeah, two kilometers that fast. In a six second period, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking hauling at. Mm -hmm. It's moving really fast. Okay. I'm going to attempt to invert the aspects and jam within a five kilometer radius. Thank you. Dude, travel's like a half a kilometer a second. You'll never make it. Half a kilometer a second. Dude, 500 meters a second? To travel 2,000 in six seconds? Uh, that is a success. You flipped a bitch, dude. Okay. So you jam out everything within like five kilometers? Yeah, it's just fucking raw noise on every channel, basically. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish out of it? Uh, basically, I don't want them reporting that they saw a huge fucking titan or whatever they would classify us as. I just want the element of surprise, and if they're still within our rate, you know, within our radius, we can block that and buy a little bit of time, maybe. Uh, is there something that can fire more than three kilometers away? No. 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 no already just outside of them communications. Yeah, they're going to be outside your firing radius. Well, they're about to be outside of aspects next turn. Yeah, they will be. Well, not like next turn, but a few turns. Well, uh, then something I would like to request, uh, it does say the Titan's aspects can reach farther than five meters. What I'd like to do is fire a tight beam projection at the uh, tower a dropship and scramble their communications, if possible. Take use. That'll be three degrees of success. All right. Uh, this is like a physical beam, or is this like a radio thing? This is a radio thing. I'm just instead of like a, a you know pretty much pinging everything within five kilometers like our aspects would do, I instead focus like everything on like a single coordinate and vector at their ship, All right. with a, just a raw stream of noise, and I try to focus it on them and keep it on them. Their communications officer is going to post tech use with you, and that's going to be a fail. Or, well, it's going to be like just on. How many degrees of success do you have? Like two? 
Three. Three. Yeah. You'll beat him out. Okay, so he scramble his communications and fry him on the ship as, he, as their ship flies off. Somewhere. Off in the future distance. Brothers, I believe I have properly disoriented their communications. We have limited time. We have got to go. Forward, my brothers, we must not lose the element of surprise. Do you want to now, how many is each one of these squares? You said it's five, it's aspects five. range, five kilometers a square? Yeah. It'll take us... It'll take us four hours to get to the Tau base from here. You want to push the Titan and make it run faster? That is that Titan running. That's it running. 26 kilometers an hour. That's its cruising speed, isn't it? That is running. Whip it. Whip the machine spirit. Make it cruise faster. <laughs> Eden, can you handle additional load running for four hours or less for three hours? What sort of damage projections do you um, calculate? Minimal. But by the Omnissiah, bless your legs, I hereby unshackle you to run as fast as uh, machinely possible. Okay. 50% more movement. He's going to outrun Harkin's forces. Of course he is. They're in fucking tanks. Trying to roll over all the destruction you've left behind. <laughs> yeah. That will like never keep up with this. It's 58 kilometers an hour. I'm dumb. I couldn't remember what the number was. So it's two hours. It's not four like hours. In, yeah. It's like an hour and a half. Uh, let's well, if we doubled it, 80. 116. Oh, okay. Let's round it and make it go 80. Or 75. 80. It's easier. Anyways, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording off here and start up a new one because we got about an hour.